sister, uh, it's strange. In Islamic countries, I have a lot of Islamic countries, but Alhamdulillah, uh, the divorce is not so common. But here in the USA, in, even in, in America, I mean, in European countries, divorce is very usual, and I believe that this is this is this is not uh, good for the society. You know? In the future, you cannot imagine how to destroy the kids. Because kids, when you destroy the kids, they will be they will be uh, the adults of the tomorrow. So this will continue. You know? Why? Why is happening? You know? I think the biggest reason that that with for divorce is that people. People in, in other parts of this, especially growing up, they're not, they don't stick to things. When I say stick to things, they don't, they don't stick to things. They don't, uh, there are some people that work very hard. They do work very hard. And those are the people that, you know, you're, you, you probably see them stay married. But a lot of people just quit. They just, they just give up and they quit because it's easier. A lot of people prefer to take the easier way. It's easier. It's much easier to walk out a door than to sit and try to understand why somebody's upset with you. It's much easier to tell your child, go to your room, than to sit and try to figure out why they just broke the, what they did. You know, uh, why? Were well, you angry with me? Get them to talk. And this, this child that just broke that, and now you're telling them go to their room, they're never going to learn the skill of to express, to explain, to make themselves understood. And this, this, this is here, how it is here. I don't know in other countries, but in this country, kids, it's because I told you. I'm the mom, I'm the dad, I'm the boss, I'm the teacher. You do what I say, this is the rule. And they learn very young, okay, I'll just shut my mouth and I'll just go and I will do something when she's not looking. You know, okay, I'll, I'll go to school. I hate the school. They're mean to me. And then what happens? A kid gets a gun and goes and kills the people in the school. I mean, I could go on on this subject forever. But a big part is, as children, especially in this country, they are not tra trained or shown how to have a social skills, how to, not just social skills, but how to express and to be uh, understood in the right way. So this is why you see gangs and you see girls that are half naked and you see boys that, you know, have spikes through their face and all, all this stuff going on because they're trying to express what they were never able to, to learn as children. And then they grow up and they have to be married to somebody. They, they can't talk to their friends. They can't, they don't know how to have communication, real communication. So they get with someone that they like, they think is pretty or whatever, they get married and you know, the, then the first time there's some real problem, they can't work it out. They don't have the skills. And I mean, I think that's the big problem. I think that's the problem with, with the whole world. But I mean, for marriage specifically, if you, if you don't have the skills, how, how do you communicate? How do you, and then, I mean, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you have a different culture, a different uh, nationality, whew, then it gets really difficult because you have to deal with all that but basically i think it's that people just don't they give up it's it's too it's too hard it's much easier there's somebody else right there the 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 availability the the ease of getting a divorce here you know you don't need a lawyer you don't need money you can go down if you don't have money you don't even have to pay to get the divorce you can sign a paper i don't have money and that they give you they get <laughs> so it's so easy it's nothing it's nothing you know what i think also this is this is the relation between the religion, you know. You know, according to me, if the people are spiritually, I mean, uh, religious people. Oh, that's... I, I think they can stand something, you know. Sometimes the religion makes you power. If, if the people are religious, it means he's ready to deliver something for, for, for his God. So I think those people carry the marriage more, you know, because, because, because uh, they, they don't want that lady suffer and kids suffer because he's ready to give something for Allah or God, I don't know, even in the other religions. In other religions, Christianity, I don't know this. Maybe, maybe you know that better than me that the Christians, religious Christians, maybe they, they care more, their families. What do you think about this? Or all the same? I, you know, honestly, okay, I have to speak just from what I've seen, my experience. Um, Mostly my exposure, my immediate exposure has been to the Catholic faith because my, um, I was married, my f first husband's a whole family was Catholic. And so that was my experience with Catholic people. There were a huge, huge family 
I don't know, 90, 100 people just in this immediate area. There's so many. And what I saw, though, was that it didn't, it didn't really seem to matter. And there were a few of them that would attend church and that seemed to try to follow some kind of lifestyle. But in general, no. In general, I didn't find, and actually I haven't found, this is the, re this is the reason that, that I um, came to Islam. Because uh, through all the other faiths that I, that I looked at, and I, I studied a lot of them, I just couldn't find any where people actually lived. They would preach it and they memorize it. And you could talk with them and they could talk for hours about their beliefs, but you never really saw it implemented in the life. And back, and back to what you said about marriage, I mean, I didn't even go into that subject because I would talk for seven days just on the subject of, of having faith in a marriage. Because in, in the USA, a huge portion of people don't really have, I mean, they say, oh, I'm Catholic, or I'm Christian, or I'm Jewish, or I'm this, I'm that. They say it like you would say, I am Swedish, or I am Dutch. They don't, doesn't mean this is their, their religion. They believe this like a, a, a spiritual way of life. It's just, well, my family, I mean, I, I guess if I was going to do that, I would say that I was a Baptist, because grandma was a Baptist. But they, they do that. Even Muslims. I, 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 <laughs> this is a big subject for me too. I, I know so many. But, but back to the, the marriage thing. The, there's, no, there's a huge void where people just don't, they don't have the faith and the, and the belief. And, you know, if they had that, then we wouldn't have divorce. I mean, really, because they wouldn't get married in the first place. They would be serious when they wouldn't just go get married. They would be thinking of it from a whole different point of view, not just looking at it like, oh, she's cute, let's get married, which is, I, I can't tell you how many people have told me, well, why did you get married? Well, I really like him or I really like her. Oh, really? You know, I'm, there's no, yeah, the God doesn't enter the equation at all with most people, and especially here in this country. I, I just feel that I'm probably going to get someone telling me I'm wrong, but. Okay. We will come to the Islamic peoples in the other class, and that's why uh, yeah. uh, all of course is resilient. So, sister, let's come to education. So, we, we go for, to your primary school, secondary school, high school, and university. Uh, um, even you say, where is the location, the name of the... Uh, course, we will find from internet that school, and we will put pictures and others. So primary school you start. How I mean how was your school time passing? How was your teachers? What did you learn? What do you like? I don't really remember a lot about the the early early years of school. I, my parents were very young like I said and they moved a lot. Um, I mean a lot. Like I would say I went to a different school maybe two different schools every year. Like I would start in one and then 4 months later we would move, I'd go to another one. And I'd, so I didn't, I didn't make any, any friends. I didn't, um, I don't even remember the names of, I maybe one, President Avenue. I remember that school because it's right down the street. It's around the corner from here. And I ended up there two times, one at kindergarten, and then later we moved back, and then I ended up at the school again. But we moved so much. And then when my mother remarried the second time, I was living with my grandmother for a great grandmother for a little while, and so I stayed fifth grade, fourth grade, and I was in so many different schools. Honestly, I, I, the only school that's clear in my memory is the Baptist school because um, just it was so different of the private school. Um, but uh, and then when I when my mother divorced her second husband, um, we stayed. We finally got a place and we stayed. So for high school, high school was good. High school, I went to Redondo. Uh, Union High School in Redondo Beach and um, went there all four years and uh, in that school <laughs> you're not going to believe this but <laughs> I was uh, what they call a heavy metaler <laughs> I was into heavy metal music and I was a strange person though because I didn't do the drugs and I didn't do the things that all of the other kids that were into that music did I just listened to the music I was going home every day and taking care of my sick brother. My brother was 10 years younger than me, so he was 
five, six years old at that time, and he has um, seizures, epilepsy, he has cerebral palsy, and he's um, developmentally delayed. He's like a baby, like four or five, three, four years old. And so my mom was working three jobs to support us. So I would come home from school, directly home, get my brother off the bus, feed him, cook dinner, clean the house, do my homework, and mom would come home and, you know, we go to bed. This was the life. So I dressed that way. If you saw pictures of me, you would just freak out because the crazy hair and the clothes and the everything. But even the our high school, because there was a lot of kids that did bad things. You know, it's a high school. This is America. They, there's, you know, lots of groups of children. They're doing bad things. They're doing drugs. They're leaving the school and they're not supposed to. And so every high school has a, a small group of people. They're sub no one is supposed to know that they're the security, but they, they're like hiding, but they're there. I don't know. It's really silly. They knew me and they knew that I'm not like these other kids. So if I was leaving school, they didn't ask me, where's your, your excuse or where's your paper? They know, oh, she's okay. She's not like the other ones. But anyway, so this was, but high school was good. I, I just, um, you know, I, I was, uh, very in, in, into my studies. I was in the honors English, the very high level of English. Um, I was into theater. I liked to do um, the sound, like uh, recording the sound for when we would have musicals and plays. And um, I would run the big board with all the sound equipment. I would do that. Um, I learned all of the ways of movie making, like a spotlight, um, how to run, do the, the spotlight on the stage, just the behind, the things you do to set up the play. It was called stagecraft. We had a special class just to learn the, 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 how to do theater and that, this. I didn't like to be in front of the camera. I liked to be the one behind doing the thing. So I did this for four years. And uh, I was sure that was going to be my profession, that I was going to, to go to Long Beach, um, Cal State Long Beach, and go into the, the sound. I wanted to do sound technology and maybe work for, I don't know, uh, either a theater or move, go into movie production to sound. I was very into the sound. But um, anyway, so that was high school. Nothing uh, extremely remarkable, just normal.